So let's have a look at some common chord structures. This was one, four, five. Let's just put that one back where it was because it's a little bit confusing for you guys. So one, four chord, five chord, then back to one. So that's quite a common one, one, four, five, and that's the one I use in my track. So the one they use in that video, which is probably the most common chord structure of all time. And by the way, you cannot copyright a chord structure. That's why they've been used hundreds and hundreds of times over and over and over again. But you can copyright a melody. So you can copy a chord structure as much as you like. And even though it's one, five, six, four like this, you could do one, four, six, five. You just swap it around a bit if you want to. It's still gonna sound good. And incidentally, if you use the one and the four and the five just always, always, always work. You can have the odd structure with two and three in, but not much. It's always one, four and five. And, and also coming from five back to one or four back to one seems to resolve the chord structure really, really well. And so, yeah, so you can copy any chord structure you like without the risk of copyright, but you cannot copy someone's melody. Okay, it's just something to bear in mind. Don't know why anyone would want to do that anyway, but there you go. So I've programmed this in is a one chord, a five chord, six chord, and a four chord, okay? This is the, the most common chord structure out there, but this is not gonna sound right, and I'll explain why in a second. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? It's quite jarring. It's because this six chord should be a minor. So I'm just gonna change that to a minor. See, it's now E minor. I'll explain why in a sec. I mean, if that's not Let It Be and hundreds of other songs, I don't know what it is. So, um, yeah, why, why did the sixth one need to be a minor? Well, let's have a look at chord structures or chord structures in the scale. So not only have you got notes in the scale, you've got chord structures in the scale as well. So I'm just gonna quickly go back to my Google and go G chord scale, which is G major. If you don't specify, it will give you major. And this diagram on the right hand side gives you chords in the key of G major. So not notes in the key, but chords in the key. And we've got G major, A minor, B minor, etc. And it always goes major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So you always have your one chord is a major, your two chord is a minor, three chord is a minor, etc, etc. So that's why the six chord is a minor. Okay, and this can also be found in the chord pads. When we loaded up the G major preset, if you remember we did that, load chord pads from preset, we did that G major. Here you go, here it is again, look, G major, minor, minor, major, major, six, minor, and diminished. So that is why this chord is a six chord, should be a minor. If we were gonna use a two or a three chord, they would be minors as well. All right, so hope that makes sense. Now, as I said, you can easily just swap these around. So you can go, let's put that over there somewhere for now. Let's, let's, let's go one, Try four there. The one, four, six, five is another common one. One, two, three, four, five. D. Yeah, so it needs to go up. Down one, rather. So this is the same chords, just in a different order. Yeah, that's been used loads of times before. Six minor. Oh, and by the way, uh, the Roman numerals things, well, it's just one, four, five written in Roman numerals. And when they are in a small letters like that, it just means minor, okay? So we've got one, five, six minor, because it's written small, four, okay? That's all that means. So another common one is again. Okay. Same chords, just in different order. I won't do all of these. Another one is one, six minor, four, five. You've got one, four, five, which is the one I started with. You've got one, four, five, six minor. 
getting a pattern here. <laughs> Told you these one, four, fives, and sixes are all very, very common. Uh, one, three, four, five. Let's do that because that's different. One, three. The three has to be a minor. Do you remember? B minor. So that's just going up in the scale. You've got a one, two, three, four. I've moved that one down too much. It's now a sus two. So if you move it down one more, it becomes a sus. So that's A minor, so let's try that again. Do, 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 do. That reminds me of something. And if you want to be sort of a bit jazzy, then you've got one, six minor. Just quickly do that. So that's quite nice as well, one, six, two, five. Okay, guys, I think you get the idea, or hopefully you do anyway, and I hope this has been a good introduction to basic music theory and how to create your own chord structures. So literally... Stick to one of these well-known ones. Obviously put your own rhythm, your melody, your own lyric structure, your lyric phrasing, your own stamp on it, and it's gonna sound completely different to other tracks that are well-known, even though you're using the exact same chord structure. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.